Hey guys, so day six weekend, uh, so almost there. Uh, what I want to talk about today really briefly is when you come off Sunday, hit Monday, uh, as some of you have sent me emails sort of flippantly talking about what that meal is going to be, uh, involving pasta, um, um, I think uh, ice cream was mentioned there, um, chocolate was certainly mentioned there. Um, I just want to really quickly talk about um, uh, my thoughts on that and where, what, how you should sort of you know, approach your diet you know, post this, this keto week we've done. Firstly, just some questions though. I think Matt might have asked me about um, uh, uh, energy bars um, and protein bars, uh, of which there's a, a huge range now, um, certainly on the shelves. Um, you know, opposed to things like coconuts, um, sha shaves, um, and, uh, and and nuts, and uh, you know, beef jerky and, and the like. I guess my view is this: if you look at the wrappers and you're actually looking at the um, uh, the, uh, um, the the nutrition uh, breakdown, um, certainly uh, the breakdown will look more impressive on the um, processed. Uh, you know, energy bars and protein bars and you know, low carb bars that are on the market. Um, it's easier for them to uh, mix a formula that has it that it's low in carbs. Um, again, as we said the other day or in the week, uh, to flavour um, these um, um, these options to make them palpable, um, they obviously have to include um, um, other agents, often artificial. So my personal view is I would go for like a beef jerky um, or like coconut. Um, which was mentioned to me that perhaps has more sugar in it. Um, certainly raw, uh, um, uh, shaved coconut um, is predominantly uh, MCT fats, um, and, and yes, there's going to be a portion of carbohydrate in it. I still believe our body metabolizes and recognizes it better um, than, than bars on a shelf. However, are the bars on a shelf more practical? Probably. Um, um, are they um, cost-effective? Maybe, maybe not. Um, tasty, most of the time they are. Um, so look, by all means, yeah, help yourself. Um, they're not going to kill us at the end of the day. And it certainly doesn't induce a, an insulin spike. Um, it probably makes us fall, so not a bad option at the end of the day. Quickly, guys, I've just added a article which I wrote like some time ago. So some of you certainly probably would have seen this, but weekly, if you've just joined um, me and my team, uh, you'll notice that I uh, weekly will uh, uh, email a post of just all things topical, uh, health-related um, 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 options, and uh, it's um, um, this week. I just, I just want you to read that one on leptin. Um, so. Uh, when you come off this diet, um, my what we have is this uh, most sublime system to modulate your weight and your shape, um, and uh, it, it's simply a case of we have this hormone uh, that's released called leptin from uh, fat stores. So the more fat stores we have, the more leptin is released. Leptin gets into the blood, goes up to the brain, and it tells. Uh, and then the brain says, all right, there's a lot of leptin going up. So then um, my brain then will modulate my appetite. So if, there's, if I'm gaining weight for whatever reason, um, then it would um, modulate my appetite to decrease, to stop eating. And it would also, um, uh, it would also uh, increase my um, uh, interest for movement. Uh, my uh, metabolism would be on the increase. Um, uh, my daily verve would increase to go and exercise and that's why some days you feel better than others and you want to really get up and rip into it and so on. Um, uh, equally, if I'm losing too much weight and I'm getting too thin, say I'm um, you know, focusing on a, a longer endurance race and I'm really pushing the line of reaching that race weight and, and reaching that ultimate in power weight ratio, um, which is a, a really delicate sort of um, uh, art, I guess, um, um, and I, I start to get too lean and my uh, T-cell uh, immune system starts to drop and you know, leaving me vulnerable. Um, at that point, my, uh, there would be less uh, leptins going up talking to my brain um, and therefore the brain would detect that there's, there's, there's not a stack of leptin being received so that it would, one, increase my appetite, tell me to go and eat, get me some more fullness real foods uh, and equally, it would probably slow my metabolism down, uh, equally almost reaching that overtraining sort of sluggish effect, again, why I would feel pretty ordinary from days. 
So if we're eating real foods, that system will just naturally take you and gravitate to you to the shape and weight that really nature uh, intended you to be. Um, and it, it simply just keeps ticking over. The only thing, the major thing that blocks the leptin uh, going up and talking to my brain to, to hold for that modulation is sugar. So again, guys, when we return, yes, real fruits. Um, if you're exercising, uh, carb, starchy carbohydrates, um, uh, you know, root vegetables, uh, brown rices, um, um, uh, go for it at the end of the day. Um, even in small amounts, wholemeal pasta um, accompanied by real meats and so on. Um, that would be the best way I would approach it, guys. Uh, speak to you tomorrow, day seven, last day. Hang in there.